Hello everyone, today we are having a look at the simple fusion chart for personal type and explaining how it works. The chart itself is available as a Dropbox file to download in the description below for your convenience. Just please credit my work if you intend to share it somewhere on the internet. Small disclaimer before we start, this chart has been made from a chart based on the Japanese version of the game, though it is safe to assume that the international version of the game has the same fusion chart, it is possible that some results may be inaccurate. I will update the chart if it ever happens. Fusions in Personal 5 work similarly as in past games of the series. This video will cover only simple fusion using two personae, but stay tuned for a later video covering triple fusions as well. The idea is that you sacrifice two personae to obtain a third one, usually stronger. The obtained persona will have its natural skills by default in addition to some inherited skills that you can choose. Note that some skills can be selected in certain cases. For example, a very ice-based persona will likely not be able to learn fire-based skills even if the persona I used for the fusion had it in the first place. You may have not noticed if you play a persona game before, but fusions follow strict rules to determine what persona you will obtain as a result of the fusion. Here is a simple fusion chart used to know what Arcana's obtained persona will be. From there, you can also determine which persona you will obtain. The rules for simple fusion in Persona 5 are as following. First, take the Arcana of one of the two persona in the column and cross it with the Arcana of the other persona in the lines. The arcana of the obtained persona will be the one shown as the crossing of the two arcana from the persona used for the fusion. Now let's try to figure out which persona you will obtain from the fusion. Take the current level of each persona used during the fusion and calculate the average of the two levels. Then add 0.5 to that average and you should obtain the level that will be used to determine the obtained persona. We will call it the calculated level. The obtained persona will be of the arcana you determined during step 1. Three scenarios are possible. The persona can be the one of the exact level you obtain using the calculated level. If there is no match, then it can be the first persona of the same arcana at a higher level. And if that's not possible either, then it will be the persona of the same arcana at a lower level than the calculated level. Let's take an example. We fuse our Ortrus, level 21 of the Hanged Man Arcana, and Matador, level 19 of the Death Arcana. The chart indicates that the result should be of the Moon Arcana. The average level of the two fused Persona is 20, so when we add 0.5, we obtain a calculated level of 20.5. The first Persona of the Moon Arcana higher than level 20.5 is Suiki, being level 24. Note that if we forgot to add the 0.5 to the average level, we should have obtained 20 and wrongly thought we would have obtained Nue being level 20 instead of Suiki being 24. If you want to check which persona belongs to which arcana, I recommend you check the Megami Tensei wiki, link in the description below. Note that this is an international wiki and not a Japanese only wiki which means that information can still be missing for the moment regarding Persona 5, but will surely be updated as the game comes out. That's it for the explanations concerning simple fusions in Persona 5 and the fusion chart. If you have any question, constructive criticism or comment, feel free to leave a message in the comment section below. If you like this video, click on the thumbs up icon and subscribe to the channel for even more Persona 5 content. Have a very good day and see you next time.